Sorry about not releasing Moriarty's video on time. Uh, it's gonna be like live while I'm recording this video, so hopefully it's whatever. We are talking about the one, the only, Lubu, the most 120 servant, Gudako's favorite, the one she gave all the carrots to. We're talking about him today. Uh, I I just love the fucking meme with Lubu. I I I think it's just hilarious. Uh, it, it's like one of those things that just shows like the character that FGO has that like their parody works like take like a random ass servant and just turns it into a fan favorite like that. But then again, Grand Carnival Gudako is just <laughs> like she's a beast. She does like Rio Go uh, Gudako. Uh, up here, we don't kind of don't care because it's uh, three star. Like you can grail if you want, but just know that's an uphill battle. You're not gonna be replacing your five stars by grailing your one stars or three stars, what or one to three stars up to 120. Uh, your four stars, it kind of depends on their kit, but for the most part, grailing a uh five star uh lower than a five star to 120 is you're not gonna surpass most five stars star weight star gen normal rider numbers mp charge healthy at 0.57 decent hit counts across the board like even though he uh lubu has one buster card it's fine that it only has one hit on it like he's not lubu isn't talking thinking about star gen on his buster cards he has the actually decent quick cards unfortunately he's a rider in this form so star gen is uh, not good it, it's not good but at least the quick cards are decent they will regen some mp and gen some stars but do not expect this to gen like assassin level stars it's not gonna happen first skill quick up 30%, three attacks, five turns, along with star gen at 50%. This makes it so his start like his base star gen stat is not that much of an issue. But the elephant in the room, if you're not using mighty chains, like at all, like your damage is just not gonna be good. Uh ideally though, like your first turn is uh a mighty chain, and then every turn after. Like like the first turn with your MP you get a mighty chain and then your other turns you kind of just hope you get one quick card each run and hope for the best now because it's only five turn cooldown if you do any kind of cooldown reduction you can double stack this but not using quick cards at all including the mp over the course of five turns is just like not advised for most servants it's like sugitani is like kind of the exception and that's because she stacks up like so much crit damage by waiting to take the perfect shot. Here is where Lubu got his buff. So before it was various martial arts horse. I don't know why that horse is there. The, this is Lubu. Uh, and it was chance base for these effects. So at base, it was only a dodge. And sometimes it wouldn't. If you were unlucky or the skill was not leveled, you wouldn't get in uh, invo pierce and you wouldn't get star uh, the 600% star weight. That's really weak as a skill. It doesn't matter that it's a, on a five turn. That is, that is very weak. That it's only a dodge most of the time. Uh, this is actually why I think Ishar is it like Ishar. I don't think her battery needs a buff, but like she needs to be able to get like Invo Pierce and like she shouldn't be doing RNG stuff either. But hey, that's what her charisma buff or they buff her third skill and then let her black rail too. Like the, the whole don't get me started on Ishtar in this video. Now this buff ignores invincibility for three turns. It goes from RNG chance of it not happening for one turn to guaranteed happening for three turns. Instantly changes the skill and makes it so much better. Star weight guaranteed too. Doesn't change the number, but it's guaranteed for three turns. Awesome. He does need this. As a writer, like 
with 600%, he's getting all the stars. There is no conceivable way I can see Lu Bu not getting all the stars now. Even the drops 15 stars and gets 15 stars per turn. There is no reason that he should not be critting every time he gets a quick a quick card. Like every time that quick card comes up in your deck, you should always be able to crit it. Unless you have like all of his other cards that turn two, in which case you're kind of just shit out of luck. He should be like you shouldn't be worried that much about refund because those arts crits and the quick crits when you buff them up should be like taking care of you. Now again, this is hit based quick buff. I think if they ever buff this in the future, they're just gonna get rid of the three attacks, three turns and just actually give Lubu a like five turn mana burst and just have 100% uptime. We can't say they wouldn't do that because Gilles Dore has that. And he has it at 40% on 100% of time. We can't say that they're not going to do something like that. FGO tends to only buff up, not buff down. Some people have exceptions to that. And some of them, granted, are really fair. But those exceptions are usually super niche cases. But I do think if they ever buff this skill, they're just going to get rid of the attacks and just make this flat. 100% uptime on this skill. I mean, would you say no to Lubu? He's got he's he's Gudiko's favorite. You know what happens to Gudiko's favorite, right? Third skill. This one No, like honestly, like they could make both of these skills like 100% uptime and I don't think anyone is really going to be complaining that much. Uh, these values just aren't that high, and they already are lasting for five turns. Uh, but 30% crit damage for three attacks, five turns, and then 20% attack buff for three attacks, five turns. Ideally, it would be three MPs. Um, but the thing with Lubu, that can't happen. So this is going to be eaten up in a brave team. Uh, brave chain turn uh, the attack buff and the crit damage is not going to be eaten up if one of your cards is the MP but also this is not a super high amount that you have to like really like if this was a hundred percent that lasted for three attacks five turns then you have to do so much uh, more mental gymnastics for how to use this but like pretty much any like Scotty Scotty gives 100%. She takes a dump on a week 30 for Lubu. Like, your supports are going to give you more value than his skills. So it kind of is, he's going to peak slightly and then just slowly go down. But it, like, you're probably not even going to notice it that much. You will notice it when everything is gone. But like as one, each one just like slowly goes away. Like first the quick goes away and, or no, first the attack goes away, then the quick, and then the uh, crit damage. Or you, you'll notice the slow fall, but again, it's not gonna be that much. Like we're talking about going from 130% quick, sorry, 142% quick to 112. It is a drop. Just not as much as you would think. You you'd notice it more if he wasn't getting buffed by Scotty. Speaking of passive skills, one of the best ones, riding EX for the full 12% quick. That's the only passive he has. It's but it's kind of also the only one he really needed because this does affect his MP damage. He doesn't have a battery, but probably getting all this stuff pretty nice he has anti-berserker that's always really nice um if you when you if you unlock this then like his skills will guaranteed have lower than 100 uh have low like sorry higher than 100 uptime you'll be able to double stack uh unfortunately you can't double stack this unless you actually like truly invest in uh cooldown reduction but these two, yes, you will be able to double stack them. It's just, again, 
If you want the full value, you have to play it really. You almost have to play Lubu like Sugitani, and that's I wouldn't advise that for anyone. MP. Four hit AoE quick. Defense pierce. And chances to go seal. This MP probably needs a buff too. Yeah. The skill seal is nice, but one of the advantages advantages for skill seal is that you force the enemy, they have to attack. Uh, as a three star, Lubu can't exactly be taking too many hits. Even against casters, you, like, unless you have 120 Lubu, which at 120, his HP actually is fairly high. Like this, I think this is close to like 120. 124 stars HP? Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, his HP actually is really high for a three star. Huh. Yeah, like a thousand under Hokusai. Like that actually, that actually is something to speak about. That is like, his HP like actually is pretty high. But again, um, skill seal. It's it's not gonna help him that much. I know I just literally brought up the HP thing, but it's not guaranteed. He doesn't have a taunt. And it's not like he has a passive to increase MP gain. So the skill seal is more just to stop enemy like He is supposed to be fighting casters, so he like skill seal makes it so they can't buff themselves up. But uh yeah. Sorry, Lubu isn't really a farmer. Like, if anyone... I'm sure people have looped with him. It just probably isn't gonna do much. Um, yeah, there's no point in looking up, like, whether his MP numbers change, because they didn't. Like, this has nothing to do with any damage. Uh, Matt's... Uh... It's not year one mats, but these are, oh my, f you need bells, annoying, why? All right, uh, Bonsi, 15% quick, 15% crit damage and defense down for the entire party while he's on the field. Solid, this is dramatic buff. This is amazing skill buff that Lubu got. Is he, is he, are people going to bring him out outside of memes? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, but hey, I eventually want to do really cool shit. And this is a really cool skill. I will wait patiently for them to f further buff Lubu. Because he, he's MP for, I can't tell whether I want his MP buffed or one of his skills again. Um, I think at this, uh, actually, yeah, let's double check MP damage. Here we. Ooh. What the fuck does that say about Morgan? Holy, like I knew Morgan's damage was like bad. I forgot it was actually this bad. Oh. That's a good thing she can loop as well as she can. Like her base damage is shit, but she can run black rail and loop off two enemies. So. Oof. Um. He's in line with all the other low stars. But this is only this is if you use out the quick cards, it goes down. So, yeah, I think MP buff before they touch his card buff. I think that should probably be the best idea. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.